if they want Iran to return to its JCPOA commitments, America must completely lift the sanctions, not just with words or on paper. They can't say we have lifted the sanctions. No, they must actually lift the sanctions and then we should verify this. If we feel that the sanctions have been lifted correctly, then we will return to our commitments under the JCPOA. Well, for more on this, we can speak to Mohamed Mirandi. He's a political analyst and professor at the University of Tehran. Mr. Mirandi, good to speak with you. So, at this point, it seems like an impasse. How did the U.S. and Iran get around this? Well, this is not an impasse. The U.S. left the deal, and the Iranians were implementing the deal in full when the Americans left. Indeed, even under Obama, the United States never fully implemented the deal. Iran, as soon as the deal was signed, implemented the deal in full, and Obama dragged his feet until the last day of his presidency. Then Trump left, and Iran continued to abide by its commitments until they waited for a year when they saw the Europeans did nothing. Then they started decreasing their commitments. So even as we speak, Iran is still at the table. It's the U.S. that has left. And so what the Iranians are now saying is that we were not the ones to leave. You left. And therefore, you have to gain our... Uh, you have to uh, now prove yourselves to us that you are going to implement the deal. So it's the Iranian position is logical. Iran will not accept any preconditions. Iran will not accept any changes to the nuclear deal. In fact, Biden was a part of the Obama administration that negotiated the deal. So the Americans have to abide by their commitments. And then, and only then, can the Iranians abide by their commitments. I take that position, uh, Mr. Mirandi, but with the swinging sanctions, doesn't there need to be some sort of conciliatory moves by both sides to try and bring the deal back into line and, and lift those sanctions against Iran so the economy there can recover? Definitely not. No, not at all. Uh, the Iranians are the ones who showed goodwill. The Iranians are the ones who stayed in the deal and abided by their commitments when the Europeans and the Americans were violating them. The Iranians were the ones who were suffering but abiding by their commitments. So while the Americans were killing Iranians, while Iranian children were dying of cancer because of the Europeans and the Americans, the Iranians continued to abide by their commitments. So for Iran, enough is enough. Now it's for the United States to show whether it's going to abide by the commitments that Obama committed himself to, and Biden was his vice president. Iran cannot afford to appease the, regi the regime in Washington. Well, Mr. Mirandi, we... sorry, sorry yes. sir, to interrupt you, but we do uh, have a limited time, and I wanted to get to this next question. I wonder if you saw this latest tweet from the Ayatollah Khomeini uh, saying that the post-U.S. era has started. It's kind of in keeping with what you've been saying, that this is now uh, Iran waiting for the rest of the world to come back to the arrangement that was put in place in 2015. Not the rest of the world, the United States. The rest of the world recognizes the deal. The United States tore the deal. And under Obama, the United States did not abide by the deal. And what Ayatollah Khamenei is saying is that the, this United States today is not the United States of September the 10th, 2001. After what we saw in the United States in Washington on January the 6th, the deep division, social, political, economic, and racial divides in the United States, as well as the divisions and even in the political establishment. The United States no longer has the power that it had two decades ago. And Iran did not appease Trump when the United States was in a stronger position. So it's not going to appease Biden either. But Iran is willing to abide by its commitments in the nuclear deal. But first, the Americans have to come back to the deal, implement what they stopped implementing, and gain Iran's confidence, because that's Iran was abiding by the deal when they were violating it. So they have to gain Iran's confidence, and then Iran will implement the deal. It's quite logical. In a world that where the West is no longer exceptional, and has exceptional rights, this is a reasonable position. But for Western countries, it's, it, it's 
unrational, irrational for Iran to expect its rights. Okay, Mohammed Mirandi, you do appreciate that analysis. Thank you, sir. Mohammed Mirandi from the University of Tehran.